Linda and I had been married for 15 years, so we were heading off to Melbourne to celebrate our anniversary. While we were there, we would be going to a concert for the band for King and Country, who were passing through on their world tour. There's been a bit of a delay and we're currently just circling Melbourne around and around until it's our turn to land. So we've landed but we've got to wait for another aircraft before we're allowed to taxi over to our parking spot. So we're going to catch what's called a sky bus. We're heading out to St Kilda, so we need to be in the right terminal to catch the right bus. Yep. Yeah, no worries. We'll see how we go. Looks like we're going to catch the quarter two instead of the quarter past, if we're lucky, because it's right there and people are getting on it. So that's pretty cool. I don't know, darling, are we cool enough to sit at the back of the bus? Isn't this where the cool people sit? I'm already cool, I'm like a teenager anyway, with going to see one of my favourite bands in concert, so what's wrong with the back seat? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, that was expensive. And we're off. <laughs> St Kilda, here we come. St Kilda is a suburb of Melbourne, six kilometres from the CBD. It has a population of around 20,000. I booked us into a nice hotel, the Novotel. We're on the lift, going up to our room. Typical one. Um, Ooh, nice. Hotels. Cool desk. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. oh. <sighs> Check out our water view, hey? We do this for you guys so that you can see the places. <laughs> it's all for you. I'm gonna go find some food. We were so hungry, and the Esplanade Diner had some beautiful food. <laughs> the tea was delicious, and there's a really nice sunset just over the road. I read that St Kilda has good sunsets, so let's go check it out. Like most places in Melbourne, St Kilda is named after a football team. Or is it cricket? I don't know, I'm not a sports guy. So this is where the concert will be on Sunday night. They had these bikes for rent. Just stick a coin in and grab your bike. Good idea. Right next to the Palais Theatre is Luna Park. The first Luna Park was built on Coney Island in New York in 1903. That's a shock. Luna Park is such an Aussie icon. Who knew we stole it off the Yanks? Oh, 
The Melbourne Lunar Park was built in 1912 by some builders from Coney Island. The Sydney Lunar Park was opened in 1935. I've eaten mine. <laughs> just making sure our viewers know you're here too. Hey guys. So we're just chilling out in our room at the end of the day. And I feel like I've lived two days because we were at home until 3.30. And then we went to the airport and caught the plane and then the bus. And then we've hung out in St Kilda. So I feel like I've lived two days in one. <laughs> so I'm pretty tired, but I am so excited. There is a life-sized poster of For King and Country on the theatre. <gasps> so cool! I'll insert a animal will insert a picture here of me with it. All right. Good night.